guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be testing out some exciting new products from Physicians Formula. Their much beloved butter bronzer has expanded over the years into other butter bronzers, butter blushes, butter highlights, but now we have more butter products. We have a Butter Believe It foundation and concealer, so I'm expecting this to be pretty full coverage. We have a Butter Believe It Skin Mist. This is a setting spray. And we have a Butter Blowout Mascara. Full blown volume and length mascara. I've also already tested this, but I'm gonna be putting this on today. This is the Butter Bronzer Matte version that came out with all this. The packaging all goes together. So I'm going to be testing this out today and see if it's any good at all. So let's go ahead and just dive in. We're gonna start with the foundation. This is in the shade Fair. In the bottle, it looks pretty dark. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a try though, and hopefully I don't look like an Oompa Loompa today because I have a very busy day. So let's scoot in just a little bit and see how this applies. All right, so let's look at this shade. Okay, it's a little dark, but it may, it may work. We'll see. I'm gonna start on the right side of my face with a brush. It does seem to have a scent to it. It's a similar scent to the original Butter Bronzer, but it's very light. It does seem to cover very well, and how it is a little dark, however, it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. It's definitely a shade too dark for me, but I can make it work. Ooh. I like. Okay, I'm, so far I'm getting excited. Let me go wet my sponge to do the other side. Okay, let's go on with the sponge on the other side. So I did get a lighter coverage with the sponge, uh, which is to be expected, but I think I'm liking the finish better, which I normally do. So I'm gonna put another little bit on and see if it layers up. And then I'm gonna smooth out this side. I feel like I can see my pores more on this side. I don't know why. All right, so there's the foundation applied. It seems to be a nice, hydrating, fairly dewy foundation, which I'm loving the way it's sitting on my skin. It seems to be a high medium coverage right now. I'm sure you could probably build it up a little bit more, but I don't wanna keep adding more layers. Now it says it's a foundation and concealer. It's not quite light enough for me to use as a concealer and they don't have a lighter shade. I'm gonna put just a little bitty bit of my Milk Makeup Concealer to just to brighten under my eyes. And then we will move on to the rest of the products. All right, I'm going to set under my eyes with the Laura Geller Powder. I feel like I need to lightly set my cheek area um, I like the way it feels though. I don't really want to put powder on. Um, I'm going to try to put the butter bronzer on top and see if it goes on smoothly or if it skips. So I'm going to go in with the matte butter bronzer in matte bronzer. See if this works without powdering that foundation. Tap it on first. Okay, all of this is looking good. I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and then eye makeup to come back and test out the mascara and then the setting spray. So I will be right back when this is done. All right, so now let's break into this mascara and see if it's any good. Let me curl my lashes really fast. 
All right, so let's see what this looks like. Here is the outer packaging. This is so pretty. I just I love the colors they chose for the packaging on this. Let's look at the wand. Woo. It is a big fluffy wand. It's a little bit big, but let's try this. Mine is a little bit bent. I don't know if that's intentional or not. The formula doesn't seem to be super wet. It feels like it's a little bit of a drier formula than I'm used to. But it seems to be building nicely. All right, so there is one eye with a coat of mascara. Let me do the other one and I'll be right back. All right, so there's one coat with the mascara. I'm going to add on a second, see if this builds. All right, so far I like the mascara. Um, I'm not blown away by it, but it, it does seem to be on par with ones that I normally use. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day and see if it flakes or smudges. That would be kind of the deal breaker for me. But I do like the way it made my lashes look. It's very similar to the two mascaras that I do use. And I do like the wand. I prefer a fluffier brush like this. It's a little bit larger than what I like, but it didn't seem to get in my way. This is the size I normally use, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, but it's a little bit fluffier than that, but I'm totally fine with that. It worked very well. Let's, hold on, I need to throw on some lips. All right, let's see if the mist is any good. Let's back up just a little bit. All right, test number one is to see how the mist is on it, because we all know a setting spray is nothing if it has a bad mist. All right, let's look at this mist. Oh, that seems to be pretty fine. It has a light butter bronzer scent. Lincoln's joining us for the last portion of this video. Sorry. All right, let's see how this feels. So the mist was very fine. It um, did have a few big droplets mixed in, but overall it was pretty fine. And my face looks quite smooth. It doesn't look heavy anywhere. It is pretty full coverage though. Like it's it's a high medium coverage. I feel like I need more bronzer on my forehead to match, but that's okay. Overall, I'm really liking everything. Absolutely everything. I will wanna try this again when I have a lot of powder on my face to see how that settles it down and meshes it with foundation. That's normally what I use uh, setting sprays for or if my face is feeling really dry after putting makeup on. So Butter Believe It Skin Mist, Mura Mura Butter mm -hmm. Setting Spray, an mm -hmm. ultra luxurious micro fine mist setting spray infused with Mura Mura Butter. Oh man, now we've got more words I don't know how to pronounce. Cup, Kapucha Butter and Tukuma butter to deliver a radiant, flawless airbrush finish. Incredibly weightless texture combines the best feature of a powder and a mist to smooth skin texture and effortlessly set and refresh makeup for all day wear. So it kind of sounds like it's supposed to be a little bit pore, pore filling and smoothing. All right, so we are gonna go about our day and see how this wears, if it breaks down quickly, if it stays looking this beautiful all day long. And I'm going to let you know later in the day my final thoughts on this, well, final first thoughts. But anyways, right now I'm loving everything. So I will see you later to check on the uh, progress of this. All right guys, so it is, it echoes really bad in here, I'm sorry. It is the end-ish of the day, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> But I just wanted to check in to let you know how the foundation has held up all day. I have been out and about the entire day. I've been wearing masks. I've had a three-year-old all over my face. Anyways, I think the foundation looks great. There's still coverage. It has worn some. Again, I've had a mask on a lot today. But I think the foundation held up really well. It's kind of giving me Guerlain vibes. My favorite foundation, the Guerlain Essentials foundation that I have bought, like I'm on my second one of it and I love so much. It has a similar hydrating juiciness to it. It's slightly plumping and it's slightly, um, slightly dewy, slightly plumping, but doesn't stay sticky on the skin. It's wearing well. It doesn't look dry, cakey throughout the day. I think 
that I'm going to like this. So I'm gonna to continue to test this further and I will keep you updated in future videos as to how it's going. But as a first impression, this foundation is awesome. Uh, the mascara has not budged, flaked, smudged, so the mascara so far is good as well. Now we're gonna to go to the exit. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Lincoln, say bye. Say bye. Kylie, I'm sorry there haven't been many bloopers so far. To deliver a natural. No, that doesn't say natural. We're very, very close. Um, 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 um. It's, it's similar. Oh, you don't have on any diaper. I hope that wasn't on film. Two year old. He's not two, he's three. Um, um.